Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today we're going to take a second look at the Sonom XP8. Now I've had this phone for just over two years now. Uh, it originally launched here in Canada back in May of 2018 and this video is being shot in August of 2020. So I want to give you just a brief overview for those of you who haven't seen this phone yet and then also give an update to uh, people who've been asking questions about how this has stood up over the last two years of regular usage. Now, when this phone first launched back in May of 2018, it came with Android 7. Uh, it was updated to Android 8.1 in January of this year, and if you buy one today, that's what you're going to get. There is a scheduled update for Android 10 uh, to be done sometime in late November, perhaps December. It depends on the carrier. So if you have questions on that, I would check with the specific carrier uh, that you operate on. Now, it does come with this Qualcomm Snapdragon 630. 64 gigs of, of memory, 4 gigs of RAM, and it is expandable to 128 with a micro SD card. Cameras are fairly basic. The rear is 12 megapixel and the front camera is an 8 megapixel. Uh, the big thing about this phone is the uh, battery life. This thing has a 4900 milliamp battery uh, compared to 3500 or 3400 that you'll see in a lot of other smartphones these days. It also comes with an 18 watt fast charger so it will fully charge in about four hours. The most significant feature on this phone is the size, the weight, the durability and the warranty. Now this thing is 335 grams which is more than twice what the Samsung S10 is at 150 grams, has a significantly large battery and the best thing about it is it has a three-year warranty. Now, this warranty is three years unlimited. So and no matter what you do to this phone, it is covered by warranty. So if you drive over this thing with your, with your truck and you flatten it, that's covered by warranty. And it also has an IP69 rating, which is far superior to any other phone on the market. Most phones like the iPhone 11 and the Samsung S10 or S20 are coming with IP68. And for a lot of people, that's good enough. But this phone is designed for the rugged user. So construction sites, first responders, uh, people who are working with their phones in a very dirty, uh, dangerous and rough environment. Okay, now let's just take a quick overview of the phone and the features on the phone itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off on the left hand side of the phone and we're going to see the power button up here at the top. This giant button here is the push to talk button and when you operate this phone on the TELUS network um, it works best with ES chat um, and this is the volume up and this is the volume down. On the bottom of the phone you'll see a rubberized um, door over the USB-C port. On the right hand side of the phone, you're going to see the emergency button. Now this one is network dependent, so a lot of networks don't support this. This button here is programmable and it will uh, come from the factory program to launch the camera with a double tap, but there are things that you can do to reprogram that to other um, functions. This is a, uh, a connector for the headset jack and all the other headset pieces that you can get for the phone. This phone does not come with a standard 3.5 mil jack. If you want to use a standard headset, you have to basically buy the adapter that fits on this piece and then plug the 3.5 mil jack into that. So it does have a 5 inch OLED display and it is extremely rugged. Now most reviews that you'll see on this phone and most people that you talk to, they'll treat this phone um, and its primary features of size and weight and ruggedness as if they were something that um, wasn't a good thing. And they'll say this phone is nowhere near um, as light or as fast or has as good a camera as say the Samsung S20. But those are all really unfair comparisons. It's, it's kind of like comparing a gravel truck to an economy car. It depends what you want to do with it. If you want to go to the store and get groceries, the economy car is a much better bet. If you want to haul 12 yards of dirt, then the gravel truck is the way you should go. And you got to kind of think of this phone like that. It's not designed to compete with the S10 or the uh, iPhone 11 Pro. It's designed to stand on its own and live in a world where ruggedness is what's most important. And this is the world of the first responders, the construction 
um, workers, people who are working daily in a, uh, in a rugged, very cold, very hot, very dirty environment. And probably the most outstanding feature of this phone is the three-year unconditional warranty. Now, I've had this thing for two years now, and I've treated it just as if I would treat any other phone. I'm not overly kind to it. I use it as my daily driver, and it gets put through uh, everything that I'm going through, and I've never had a problem yet. And uh, it is true that of the thousands of these that I have sold, I have seen a couple come back with broken screens. Um, it's not indestructible, but the beauty of it is that if something happens to it, you don't have to worry about it. You simply send it in for service and it'll come back repaired at no charge. And for those of you who are concerned about uh, non-incendiary devices, this is, ra ra it's, sorry, it is rated at uh, Class 1 Division 2 for non-incendiary. And basically what that means is that this thing uh, will not produce a heat or a spark significant to cause an explosion uh, the way any other phone would do that's not rated this way. Now, the XP7, which was the forerunner to this, did have a Class 1 Division 1 rating, but that's since been dropped, uh, probably because it was just such a small market that um, it wasn't economically feasible to continue that. But Class 1 Division 2 is acceptable for 95% of the industrial applications that are out there. The other thing that this phone does better than a lot of other smartphones is the push to talk capability. Now this one on the TELUS network, it uses ES Chat, which is a company out of California, uh, but there are other um, push to talk feature, uh, sorry, programs that you can use on this phone. And um, that is uh, unique to this phone. If you have a, uh, a Samsung or an iPhone, you can still use ES Chat but your push to talk button just becomes an icon on the screen and uh, you don't have near the durability that you have with this one. Now, as I say, I've been using this phone as a daily phone for the last two years and I am very impressed with the things that it does very well. The sound quality, uh, the camera is more than adequate for uh, the features that I need. Uh, the durability is more than I could ask for. And basically, it's just, it's hung in there very well as a phone for the last two years. And I wouldn't hesitate to, uh, to buy it again. And if you're thinking about getting a phone and you have a rugged environment that you work or live or play in, this is definitely the phone for you. Now, there are other rugged phones on the market. And depending on your carrier, that'll determine which ones you have access to. But if you have access to the Sonom XP8, I would highly recommend this phone as a... Uh, a daily driver for anybody who is in a rugged or a harsh environment. That's all I got for now. Thanks for watching.